How's it going, guys? Uh, when it comes to detailing the engine compartment, if the, um, if the area isn't bad, it's something I maintain, and it just has to uh, be gone over in a, uh, a maintenance situation. I'll use the foam gun, um, which will have uh, a concentrated uh, cleaner in it, a pre-wash, um, and then just agitate with uh, a little detail brush and rinse off. Uh, dress and you're good to go. When it comes to something like this, which is horrible, I have a different process. I'm going to show that to you now. So what I usually have ready for this job is crud cutter. I have it in this pressurized uh, spray bottle here. I have a bucket of concentrated soap, some brushes to agitate, and just a regular garden hose. Um, you can use a pressure washer if you want, but it's not needed. Okay, so this is what we're going to be cleaning today. Um, it's pretty bad. Um, fortunately, there's not much to cover, really nothing at all. The alternator is tucked down below on the side of the engine. The um, the main computer is out of the way. There's no intake, um, exposed intake anywhere. So we're really good to go. We're going to uh, get the crud cutter, spread it out evenly, and let it, uh, let it dwell for a couple minutes, start lifting the dirt, then we'll agitate and rinse. The crud cutter is safe on everything under the hood here. It's safe on the plastics, um, wires, rubber, metal, any kind of trim. And it's good at lifting the dirt without harming anything under here. I try not to use pressure washers in the, the engine compartment uh, just to, in case you might knock a, a vacuum hose loose or anything else like that. So I just go with a garden hose, uh, light pressure, just missed off the, the agitated dirt and soap. Okay, that's going to be good. So we'll let that dwell for a couple minutes and come back. All right, the crud cutter has been working on the uh, affected area for you know, five, six minutes now, so we're going to agitate and rinse off. First, I usually start off with this bigger brush and get the larger areas. I also have this one. For the same purpose. Get the firewall, plastic on the firewall. We've uh, gotten pretty much what we could reach with the larger brushes. I'm going to grab a smaller one. I have two of these, two different sizes, old paint brushes, um, converted over to uh, detail engine compartments now. So we're going to go in and get the areas that were too hard to reach with the bigger brushes. Agitate that. Uh, Crud cutter. Get in the corners, in the crevices.
Like I said before, if it wasn't bad, I just would have used the uh, foam gun in this area, foamed up the whole area with a concentrate, just used these two, agitated in the corners, rinsed, dried, dressed, and it would have been fine. That's pretty good. We're going to carefully rinse off, dry, and get to the next step. To rinse off, nothing really high pressure. In the newer cars where most of the engine compartment is um, covered by cowls and um, plastic shields, yeah, I could see using a, um, a pressure washer up there, but when lots of uh, wires and hoses are exposed, I don't really do that. Um, just in the precaution of knocking one of the uh, vacuum hoses or knocking a wire loose. So I'll just do it. I'll just rinse it this way. All right, rinse thoroughly, now we're gonna dry. Okay, when it comes to drying, there are two methods that work fine. The first is going to be um, just your standard leaf blower. works perfectly fine on its own, but if you have um, access to compressed air, that works great as well. Better for the more hard to reach places anyway. Now when it's completely dry and it comes to either dressings or um, applying a protectant, you can go one of, geez, I mean, you can go just about any direction you want to go. A lot of people go the route of a, uh, a trim shine, which is fine. Um, but, I and mean, then that looks great, but personally I like to protect it with some of the best products in the world and I'm going to go this route. 
So me personally, for my customers, um, if I know I'm gonna get the car back, I love to protect and make it a, uh, a ton easier to clean the next time it comes in. So I'm, an, I'm gonna either protect and condition with the QPON 3.0, the dedicated um, vinyl and plastic restorer, QPON 4.1, uh, I could also use OptiSeal. Uh, there's, there's really a, a broad range of products to use to protect and uh, make it easier to clean the next time it comes in. So for this instance, I'm just going to use the uh, QPON 4.1 um, vinyl and plastic restoration. And uh, you just simply apply it to an application pad and spread it out evenly over the areas you want to protect. Makes the plastic look new without the uh, greasy appearance and it protects and makes it a whole lot easier to clean the next time it comes in and doesn't attract the dust like most of those um, dedicated uh, trim aerosol cans would. Easy to apply, just apply it to all the areas that you can, uh, that you have access to. So basically that's how we take care of the engine compartments here, um, especially the, the, the real dirty ones, the, the ones just for maintenance, uh, a concentrated snow foam, some agitation, rinse, uh, dress or protect again, and you're good to go. I'm going to put a link down below for all the products I use today. If you have any questions, uh, if you want to leave us know what you use in the engine compartment, don't hesitate to put in the comment box. Brian from Apex Detail, we'll catch you next time.